I think the number one thing that Linux distributions should focus on is education. I think that is the primary focus that most Linux distributions really need to start focusing on is educating their users because at the end of the day, Linux is being free and open source software, right? It's a community effort. There's many people involved with it and there's many people that want to get involved in it that are not currently involved and of course we have to train these people it's completely different with proprietary operating systems like windows and mac because you know windows is not interested in educating their users teaching users how windows is built and how to program you know shell scripting and things like that because it doesn't matter because windows users can never really contribute to windows because it's all proprietary software right you'd have to work at microsoft you know and even at microsoft you'd have to be a, a very elite group of people to have access to the source code and really know what's going on under the hood of microsoft windows but linux being fundamentally different i don't think enough people have realized this that you know it we have to educate our users because our users are the next group of developers. They're the next generation that will move this thing forward. And I don't see enough distributions doing that. I see way too many Linux distributions. They're just putting out an ISO and it's an operating system you guys can download and use. And that's it. Well, that's essentially what Windows is, you know, and that's what Mac OS is and Chrome OS is. It's just a operating system you can install and use but that's not what linux should be because linux being free and open source software we really need to focus on again educating our users getting them up to speed on much more advanced topics that most of them are interested in anyway it's just nobody's there trying to teach them this stuff for example i see way too many linux distributions that have serious problems with package maintainers as far as getting enough people to be package maintainers and packaging stuff. You see many, especially smaller Linux distributions, their repositories of software are very small. You know, they're lacking a lot of, you know, important packages that should be in their repos. And a lot of that is because they don't have enough maintainers. And a lot of that is they're not actively trying to get more maintainers. They're, you know, they may put out a call occasionally, hey, we'd like some package maintainers, but you have to teach people how to create these packages, right? You need to be, on a, on a Zoom call or a Jitsi call, you know, once a week or once a month. Hey, anybody that wants to learn how to make a Debian package or RPM or Arch package, whatever it happens, whatever distro you're using, whatever package format you're using, hey, I'll meet you on this Jitsi call and I will actually teach you how to package something in this format. And it's not like package maintaining is hard. It, it, it takes some work. It takes some effort. But it's not hard. Anybody can learn this if somebody will actually teach these people. And many other uh, advanced aspects of maintaining a distribution, you could actually teach people how to build an ISO, how to you know do shell scripting, how to do programming. You know, those of you that are maintaining desktop environments, maybe you're building a desktop environment specifically for your distribution. Many Linux distributions do that. If it's a GTK based desktop environment, try to teach people about GTK, GTK development or Qt development, Qt development. If you're building a Qt based desktop environment to go along with your distribution, whatever it is, your custom apps, if you're building custom apps that are written in Python. Maybe try to, you know, invest a little bit in educating your users on how to script with Python or, or, or any language. It could be anything. And again, I just don't see enough distributions doing this. I really don't see any distributions doing this. The only distribution I really see actively trying to educate their users, like that's their primary focus, Arco Linux. Eric Dubois, the lead dev of Arco Linux, he does a great job as far as trying to teach people. You can tell that Eric really is a teacher. That is his primary role. He's trying to teach people all about Linux. He's not trying to get people to use Arco Linux. Arco Linux more is a vehicle for him to teach people about Linux. I think that's fascinating. Now I know I'm just a YouTuber. I don't maintain a Linux distribution myself. Maybe I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, right? But hey, in my opinion, I would just like to see more distributions go this route. You know, try to, again, think about the future 
a little bit more as far as the future of Linux and, and, and specifically the future of your particular distributions, those of you that maintain distributions. Because if you're not actively educating the next group of people to come up, well, what, what happens when the current small group of people that maintain that distribution go away? You know, maybe they move on to other projects or, you know, they pass away or whatever it happens to be, right? Nobody is going to be around forever, right? And we owe it to the broader Linux ecosystem to make sure that this thing goes forward long after all of us are gone. Anyway, just a little rant today. Peace, guys.